Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, <coughs> C registration, so either 1985 or 86. Um, Land Rover 90, 2.5 diesel, genuine factory county station wagon. Um, finished in the original green, or largely original green. Um, let's say proper genuine county station wagon. What's it got on it? Obviously the proper county alpine lights and opening rear side windows and uh, county interior trim. Um, it's got a set of four silver modular wheels on it with uh, road tyres. Side step on the driver's side, factory steering guard under the front, um, front A bar with extra lights. I don't know if the extra lights work or not, haven't checked. Um, <coughs> side step on the passenger side, around the tail end, we've got uh, tow pack. Can't see any electrics on the tow pack, but uh, um, tow pack with. Uh, integrated rear step and um, tailgate mounted spare wheel and inside we've got uh, three seats in the front and three seats in the back. One of the seats has been removed by the previous owner for to put a pram in there and then he forgot what he'd done with it so uh, it's got it's a, basically a six seat to this one. It has got seat belts in the back as well for all three seats. Um, it's also got a stereo radio uh, with a stack CD system in it. Um, right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Uh, as I say, <coughs> paintwork isn't its finest feature. It's um, the paint on a lot of panels, the bonnet, the wings, front wings certainly, um, and the rear wings is original. Um, a lot of the rest has been uh, been touched in in broadly the same colour, uh, and some of it by, um, in fact, I think most of the touching stuff has been done, uh, not necessarily by spray, so I think the tailgate has been hand-painted. Um, as has the rear end, but uh, say paintwork's not his finest feature. It's not going to win any um, concourse prizes, but it's still uh, um, it's actually a very dent-free example, oddly enough. Um, like most counties, they don't leave too hard a life, um, but certainly around all the front wings and stuff, it's not uh, the usual denty horror. Um, around the front end here, as I say, it's uh, it's had a bit of paint just up here on the wing top, which has been brushed in, but this is all the original. Bonnet's all original apart from so a bit of paint that's been brushed in in the corner here. Um, and near side wing top, again original apart from a bit of touching in there on the back of the, um, just behind the vent. Fair bit of electrolytic reaction on it here and there. It is what now, um, 25, 26 years old, so uh, only to be expected. There's some reaction on the front of the near side front wing there, but it's, it's nice and straight there. It's not dented or anything. Um, some reaction around the indicator repeater and quite a lot of reaction down the back of the wing here some of which has been painted over uh, up here on the scuttle corner it's actually had i think from memory it has had um, scuttle corners on it they certainly look very straight and true and correct and nice um, that's all very good in fact around there paint has come away a bit around there but the actual corner itself is actually very good uh, like that um, a post is okay. There's a, a rubber bung in the bottom of the A post there, which uh, I don't know if that's covering a, a drain hole or uh, or what, but um, it's the rubber bung in the bottom of the A post. Modesty cover um, has been hand painted. Um, bottom of the door, there is some electrolytic reaction down there, and it has been hand painted up to the stripe there. And there's a sort of a <coughs> excuse me um, a, a gouge in the uh, um, in the alloy just along there on the dry, on the passenger door. But otherwise it's actually quite straight. Um, let's have a look inside. Um, so it is, is an original county, so it's got all the most of the original county trim, headlining's all in good shape, side panels are. Uh, it really could do with a good valet more than anything else. The previous owner had a, a dog, looks like a white-haired dog, and uh, you know we've tried to get the hairs up with the vacuum cleaner, but it won't have it. Um, so it really needs a good valet more than anything else. But uh, near side seat has obviously been chewed by said dog. On the um, on the cushion, but the rest of the seats actually aren't too bad. I'll say one of them is missing in the back. Um, do, 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 what else have we got? Near side door, actually excellent. Oh, it's been repaired. Near side door bottom frame has been repaired, but um, it's a good job by the look of it. Actually, means it's nice and um, nice and rigid. Yeah, not bad at all though. Um, near side rear wing. Paint's largely original there on the wing itself, as it is on the um, on the window side. Some electrolytic reaction here and there, especially coming up around the back end. 
Uh, around the tail end, as I say, it's been um, been hand painted. Certainly, the tailgate has. Presumably, it's off another car, um, and it has been touched in around here. Fair bit of reaction once again under the paint, and there's some, uh, you know, paint marks and stuff in the tailgate and things like that. Cross member looks really good. I think from memory, the cross member. In fact, it's had a rear quarter chassis on it. I think from memory. Yeah, you can see where it's been joined. Um, it all looks pretty good under there, actually. In the back here, as I say, it's just got the three seats, new lock on there. Um, it's just got the three seats on it. Again, in the back, it could do with a, a good clean with that carpet. So it's not the original carpet, it does look a little bit, um, bit manky. Um, but the tailgate frame itself, again, is very good. I think that's uh, an original good tailgate. I think it's off a blue car, actually, originally, by the look of it. Yeah, it's had a replacement tailgate off another car. But the tailgate itself is in very good shape, structurally. Um, looking down the offside, very straight actually, down there, looks really rather good. Fair bit of electric reaction as always around the back end here, some paint loss and some reaction up there. But again, the, the, most of the paint on the offside rear wing, apart from around the, um, the fuel filler, is actually uh, original. Uh, and, it, and again, up on the... Um, up on the van side. The tub top trims are excellent on this. I'd actually be an 85 one. I would imagine they'd have been galvanised from the factory. That's why they're so good. Um, but what have we got? Driver's door, same as the passenger one really. It's had some, uh, I think, some paint work along there. Bit of reaction on the bottom of it. Um, and a bit up here that's been touched in. It's had some paint work on the A-post down there. Um, offside front wing, a lot of reaction on the bottom of the offside front wing. And it has had a bit of paint along up here, um, but it's all original around the front end. Uh, and again, the scuttle corner on this side is uh, really rather good. That's obviously been repaired. Just again, just lost a bit of paint up here around by the hinge. Um, but that's uh, actually not bad at all. It's a nice, um, nice job that's been done on that at one some point in the future, in the past. Uh, looking in here, carpet on the driver's side, the whole driver's side footwell area. Uh, frankly, the carpet is. Uh, Definitely seen better days. It's on, very much on its last legs, um, as is the tunnel carpet, just where the driver's foot goes. Driver's seat is okay, apart from the vinyl is split on the outside, outside face of it there. Um, but most importantly, again, the, the driver's door has also been repaired, and I say a good job, because it's, uh, it's nice and rigid. No problems with that at all. Um, quite well repaired, actually. Uh, that's about it really. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and Mastercard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for, uh, for credit cards and we can uh, ship it anywhere you like in the country, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.